Although Bond has been described himself as nothing more than a businessman, he was a businessman of the most dangerous order, prosecutors wrote on a pre-sentencing memo. The U.S. Treasury Department banned any trade with Bout in 2004, citing an unproven allegation that he made dollars 50 million from selling arms to the Taliban. Resistance spread uncompromising fight against malaria. Scientists have found new evidence that resistance to the frontline treatments for malaria is increasing. They have confirmed that the resistant strains of malaria parasite on border between Thailand and Burma, 500 miles away from previous sites. Researchers say the rise of resistance means the effort to eliminate malaria is seriously compromised. The details have been published in The Lancet Medical Journal. For many years now, the most effective drugs against malaria have been derived from the Chinese plant Atbisia annua, it also known as sweet wormwood. In 2009, researchers found that the most deadly species of malaria parasite spread by mosquitoes were becoming more resistant to the drugs in parts of western Cambodia. This new data confirms that these Plasmodium falciparum parasites that are infecting patients more than 500 miles away on the border between Thailand and Burma are growing steadily more resistant. The researchers from Shoklo Malaria Research Unit measure the time it took the Artemis drugs to clear parasite from the bloodstreams of more than 3,000 patients. Over the nine years between 2001 and 2010, they found the drugs became less effective and the number of patients showing resistance rose to 20%. From Francois Nostin, who was part of the research team that has carried out the latest work, says the development is very serious. It would certainly compromise the idea of eliminating malaria, that's for sure, and will probably translate into a resurgence of malaria in many places, he said. Another scientist involved with the study is Dr. Stan Wellencoma from the Texas Biomedical Research Institute. Spread of drug resistant malaria parasite within the Southeast Asia and overspill into Sub Saharan Africa, where the most malaria deaths occur, would be a public health disaster, resulting in millions of deaths. The scientists cannot tell the resistant has moved because the mosquitoes carrying the resistant parasites have moved to the Burmese border or if it has arisen spontaneously among the population there. Either the resistance has moved and it will continue to move and will eventually reach Africa. Or if it has emerged, know that artemisinin is a standard therapy worldwide, then it means it could emerge anywhere, Roof Nostin told reporters. Google's Larry Page defends privacy policy in letter. Google's chief executive has marked his first year in the job with a letter setting out his vision for the future. Larry Page promises what he terms next generation search in which query results become less generic and more tailored to each individual user. He also defends changes to the firm's privacy policies saying they will create a more intuitive experience. However, the post does not include any major revelations coming a week ahead of Google's first quarter earnings. A decision by the company to allow private data collected by each of its services to be charged with other platforms has caused controversy. Last month, the European Union's Justice Commissioner Vivian Redding suggested that transparency rules had not been applied. Data regulators in France also cast doubt on the move's legality. Google said in a time that it believed it complied with European Union law. Knowledge powered search in his letter, Mr. Page defends the move and suggests users will appreciate the changes Google can now make. If you are searching for a particular person, you want the results for that person, not everyone with the same name, he wrote. 
These are hard problems to solve without knowing your identity, your interests, or the people you care about. He goes on to suggest that the more information people post about themselves and others to its Google social network, the better the resulting will become. He says over 100 million users are now active on the site, noting that whenever he posts publicly, he gets a ton of high quality comments. However, analysts suggest the figure masks the wider issues. We'll move on to the business world. Samsung expects profit to double from the smartphone boost. Samsung Electronics has said it expects its profits for the first three months of the year to almost double as its smartphone sales continue to grow. The company said it expects an operating profit 5.80 and one, that is $5.1 billion for the period. The success of Samsung's Galaxy range has seen it become the world's biggest selling smartphone maker. Analysts said the firm had benefited from keeping its margin healthy despite growing competition. There has been a big surprise in profit while revenue was in line, which suggests a stronger than expected profit margin from the handset division thanks to global sale of high-end models like the Galaxy and the Note, said Chon De Jong of League Investments and Securities. Handset margins are estimated to have topped 20% and profit from the division almost topped 40 and one. The company will release its full earning report on 27th April. While Samsung's phone units has prospered, other divisions including memory chip, manufacturing, has been going through tough time. Welcome to the world of science. LHC is back with a big energy boost. The Large Hadron Collider, that is LHC, is operating again after its winter break. Early on Thursday, opposing stable beam of, pro of protons were smashed into each other at four observation positions. The total collision energy in these batches of subatomic particles has 8 trillion electronic volts, a world record. Scientists expect the big boost in capability to significantly increase the collider's chances of discovering the new physics. The great expectation is that they will definitely confirm or deny the existence of the Higgs boson, the elusive particles that would help explain why matter has mass. The experience of two good years of running at 3.5 teeth per beam gave us the confidence to increase the energy for the year without any significant risk to the machine, explained Steve Myers, the director for the accelerators and technology at SIN, that is European Organization for Nuclear Research. And in sports, Sri Lanka makes steady progress. Sri Lanka made 84 for the loss of the two at lunch on day four of the second test with England. It needs to bat the whole day on Friday and possibly at least one session on day five to deny England a shot at victory. Sri Lanka needs another 101 to overwhelm England's first inning score. T.M. Dilshan, 25 not out, and Kumar Sangakara, 8 not out, were at the, at the crease, and the pitch offers no assistance to the first bowlers. Gary Swam, the experienced England spinner, could turn it England's way if he's able to get the ball do, to do more. So far, he has bowled rather flat. On the ninth over, he has bowled. He showed that he can exploit the cracks in the pitch. Samit Patel, the left armer spinner, is capable of keeping one end quiet. Though 
is like is unlikely to be as effective as Drangama Herath. The proceeding begins on sudden note with the night watchman Damika Pesar 34 showing that he can bat a bit. He was left off repeatedly as the England fielding was sloppy since the beginning of the play. Lahim Trimana 11 had his chance too. He went down to swarm delivery that drifted into him after pitching. He missed the line and the ball sailed past two keeper might prayer. And before we close today's bulletin of news analysis, let's have a recap of the main points. Syria crisis, Turkey refugee surge amid escalation fear. Tuareg rebels declare independence in North Mali. U.S. Coast Guard sings tsunami ghost trip. Merchant of death, Victor Bout, sentenced to 25 years. Resistance spread compromising fight against malaria. Google's Larry Page defends privacy policy in letter. And there we end today's bulletin of news analysis. Be with us in the coming weeks too. Thank you.